Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to Miss Trisha's virtual classroom. Today is Tuesday, and our morning message was about how the mother sea turtles lay their nests on nesting eggs. So today we're going to, I mean, nesting beaches. Today we're going to learn about how do they know which beach to go to, and where do they put their eggs, and what happens to the eggs after the babies are born. We're going to learn all about the life cycle of turtles, which is why Miss Trisha wore her green turtle shell top today. So let's get started. Click my present button. Share my screen with you. And let's get started. It's time to read a book. Come with me. It's time. Your book, come and see. It's time to read a book. It's time to read a book. It's time to read a book. Come with me. And today we will learn all about turtles. So it's time to stand up and dance. We dance to get our heart rate pumping to pump the blood to our brain so that we can focus and pay attention. So let's stand up. We got three, two, one. Exactly where to go. 
Bring exactly what to eat. The moment that we reach the sea. Bring you exactly what to eat. Dance like a sea turtle. Bring exactly what to eat. The moment that we reach the sea. Exactly what to eat. What we've got inside our canvas to see is a tail and four with our life legs. So we need to be the turtle. Holy tubular. Be a sea turtle. Very cool. We got a little bit of introduction about some of the things. They know exactly where to go and what to eat. In our story today, we're going to learn what it is that gives them that knowledge. How do they know where to go to plant, to, to uh, put their eggs? And how do they know where to swim in the ocean? A good movie to watch that you guys might want to do on Disney Plus or on the, on, uh, the cable box is... Um, Finding Nemo or Finding Dory. There's lots of information about sea turtles in that movie. All right, here comes our book. There's another National Geographic book, which means it's a nonfiction book, which means that it's true factual information about sea turtles. National Geographic Readers, Sea Turtles by Laura Marsh. Sea turtles are tranquil and mysterious long distance swimmers with an incredible sense of direction. There's that, there's that they know exactly where to go theme coming again. They just know where to swim in the ocean. They follow the riptide. And the publisher is National Geographic and it was published in 2011 by the National Green Geographic Society in Washington, D.C. A sea turtle. What hatches on land but spends its life in the sea? What starts out as the size of a ping pong ball but can grow to be seven feet long? It's a sea turtle. Sea turtles are graceful swimmers in the water. Their flippers move like wings. Sea turtles travel the world in warm ocean waters. They are the only, they are one of a, the few reptiles that live in the sea. And a reptile is a cold-blooded animal that lays eggs and has a backbone and scaly skin. The dark blue area shows where the sea turtles travel. So as you can see, down at the bottom where Antarctica is, the sea turtles don't go there. And up at the top where the Arctic Ocean is, the sea turtles don't go there either. So they stay in warm water between North America and Asia and the Pacific Ocean, down to the Indian Ocean, down below Africa and South America and through Aust over by Australia too. Their sleek body helps the turtles move easily through the water. A sea turtle has lungs because it breathes air. A sea turtle holds its breath underwater. Sea turtles can pull their head, can't pull their head and limbs into their shells like land turtles can. Their large, powerful flippers act like paddles. Scientists believe some sea turtles live to be 80 years or more, which means they live as long as humans do, but they don't know for sure how long, how old they are. The back flippers steer the turtles as it swims. They are used to dig nests in the sand. The scales on its shell are called scutes. Meet the turtles. There are seven kinds of sea turtles like our song told us in the world. Each has special features. The loggerhead is the most common sea turtle in the southeastern United States. It gets its name from its large head. The flatback has a flat body. It's the only sea turtle that doesn't live in the U.S. waters. It lives near Australia. The olive ridley has an olive colored shell and it's shaped like a heart. The hawk's bill can dive deep. It spends most of its time on the water on, can't dive deep, sorry. It spends most of its time 
on the water surface, so it stays up towards the top. The green turtle has a small head. Unlike other sea turtles, it goes ashore to warm itself in the sun. The Kemp's Ridley likes shallow waters. It's the most endangered sea turtle, which means there's not a lot of them. They need to keep, they need to start making more of those. They need to um, plant more seeds in the, in the sand. And dangers means they're at risk of dying out, means they're at risk of there being no more on earth. The leatherback doesn't have a hard shell. Its skin is rubbery with small bones underneath. Well, I just learned something new. I never knew that. Female olive ridley sea turtles are on the beach there. A female sea turtle comes on land to lay her eggs. She usually returns to the same beach where she was hatched. But how does she know that? Sea turtles aren't sure, aren't, scientists aren't sure how sea turtles know where to go. They think sea turtles know by instinct. So there's that word, instinct, which is a behavior that animals are born just knowing what to do. The sea turtle digs a hole with her back flippers. She lays her eggs and covers them with sand. And then she returns to the sea. Oh, baby, crack. The egg hatches after 50 to 70 days, which is about two months how long we've been in distant learning. Tiny turtles called hatchlings crawl out of their eggs. They are less than three inches long, so they're only like really small. They're only little. This is a baby loggerhead sea turtle hatching from its shell. A hatchling is a young animal that has just come out of its egg. Hatchlings usually crawl towards the sea at night because in the dark they are hidden from predators. A predator is an animal that eats other animals. The little turtle follows the brightest light. The line where the sky meets the sea is the brightest natural light on the beach. And normally the moon is there. If the hatchlings follow this light, they will make it to the sea. The smallest sea turtles are the Kemp's Ridley and Olive Ridley. Adults are about two feet long and weigh about a hundred pounds. There's the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle and the leatherback sea turtle. So, okay, so the smallest sea turtles are the Kemp's and the Olive Ridley. The largest sea turtle is the leatherback. It can grow up to seven feet long and weigh more than 2,000 pounds. That's about 10 men or 10 daddies all put together. So if all of your daddies were all together standing on a scale, that's how much a leatherback turtle would probably weigh. And the other thing we learned about leatherbacks is they don't have a hard shell. They're kind of leathery, soft. Munch, munch, what's for lunch? Most sea turtles eat plants and animals. They dine on algae and seagrass. They also munch on crabs and conchs, which is a shell. Algae is simple, non-flowering plants that do not have stems, roots, or leaves. They just grow in the sea. Jellyfish are their, of a favorite food of many sea turtles, but plastic trash can look like jellyfish in the ocean, and that spells trouble. Swallowing trash can hurt and even kill the sea turtles. So we're going to learn later this week uh, on Thursday about recycling and throwing our trash in the recycling and sorting our plastics and our glass and um, our aluminum cans so that it doesn't make it to the ocean to save the earth and save the plants. Trash isn't the only danger for sea turtles. Fishing nets and hungry animals can harm them too. Building lights can confuse hatchlings so they don't reach the sea. Sometimes people even step up on step on sea turtle nests by accident. In 2010, a giant oil spill le leaked into the Gulf of Mexico and oil covered sea animals and washed up on beaches. Oil is also dangerous to people and wildlife. People in charge of a sea turtle rescue program in Louisiana saved many turtles. The rescuers cleaned the turtles and gave them medicine. People cared for them until they could return to the sea. 
You don't need to work at a sea turtle hospital to help sea turtles. Here are a few things you can do to keep safe, keep them safe. One, pick up the trash on the beach. Two, do not release balloons into the air. They often end up in the water, in the sea. Three, turn out lights that could be seen from the beach. Four, read beach warning signs to avoid turtle nesting areas. And five, tell your classmates what you've learned about sea turtles. And here's our glossary. We have algae, endangered, hatchling, instinct, predator, reptile. For extra credit, moms and dads, you guys could do a video of your student explaining what these words mean. Ask them, what is algae? What does endangered mean? And see if they remember and send Ms. Trisha a video. Ms. Trisha loves to see the videos. So there's our book that we finished. Let's start a quiz and see what questions they have for us. So sea turtles move their flippers like what? Like circles, like tentacles, like propellers, or like wings? I think they said wings, but I might be wrong. Uh, I was right. A sea turtle can breathe underwater. No, it holds its breath underwater, right? Ms. Trisha's allergies are kind of going crazy today. How many kinds of sea turtles are there? We learned that there were seven kinds of sea turtles today. How long does it take for a sea turtle to hatch? And it was about 50 to 70 days. One more question. What do sea turtles eat? And we learned that they eat plants and animals. They eat jellyfish and crabs and conch shells. Let's finish our book and see how many points we earned. We earned 297 points for reading for 17 minutes. Good job, friends. So here are some questions. And this week we are working on our writing, our letters and all letters. So Ms. Trisha wants you to write these um, um, answers out in a complete sentence. What is a reptile? So in a complete sentence would be a reptile is, and then you go to your book and you find the answer. It's a cold-blooded animal that lays eggs. What helps sea turtles move through the water? How many kinds of sea turtles are there? Where does the female turtle lay her egg? And how does she know where to go? What was that word? It started with an I. What was that word? And when do the baby turtles crawl to the sea? Do they do it in the daytime or the nighttime? So here's our letter practice. You're gonna practice writing the letters of your first name and your last name. And you can even uh, take it one step further and count how many letters are in your name. So you're gonna take um, some boxes, write some boxes on your paper and write your name, your first name and your last name, and then count how many by drawing um, in the tens frame and write the number. You're also gonna write your answers to the questions about our story in a complete sentence. And you're gonna upload the picture to Google Classroom or send it to us on uh, Class Dojo. And here's our Google assignment. It's we're gonna watch, you guys are gonna watch this news of the week video. You're gonna ask your child which day is their favorite. Ask them about an activity they would like to do on that day. Have your child draw a picture of that activity and ask them to explain the picture to you and write down exactly what they say on their picture. This is called a dictation. And upload your picture with the dictation included to Google Classroom. So this is just a days of the week song. Let me see if I can. That you can find. Um, you can either click on the Google slide in Google Classroom, or you can find it by typing in days of the week on YouTube. And then this is listen to Cookie's story with your child. Ask your child to tell you about what Cookie did on different days of the week. If needed, go back and re-listen to the story. Ask your child to draw a picture of something they like to do on their favorite day of the week. Those are the assignments for today.
Here are some reminders. Don't forget to take pictures and videos to upload to Google Classroom and or send us send to us on Class Dojo. Uh, daily Zoom invites are sent out on Dojo and you can join us at 1030 a.m. using the link. You make sure that you're logged into your student's email account first to get into the Zoom and also Google Classroom. So if you haven't already gotten into Google Classroom, make sure you are logged into your child's email account first before trying to log into Google Classroom. And thank you, thank you, thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on Class Dojo or join us for our Zoom lessons at 10.30 a.m. most days, as long as that Miss Cecile does not have a IEP meeting. She does a Zoom for us. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson. I know that I learned some new things about siege hurdles that I didn't know before. And now you guys can write your answers down on a piece of paper to practice your writing skills. And uh, check back later today for our math lesson, guys. See you later. Have a tubular lunch hour.